Let's have a quickie. <laughs> I'm serious. Let's have a quickie. <laughs> I just loved creating this fabulous collage, uh, the beautiful intuitive style on the glorious little canvas that I went on and created another one. So I made this little video, it's a lot shorter and quicker and I know you're gonna love it. It's just a bonus that I'm putting up this week because I couldn't help myself and I had to keep creating. <laughs> So join me in the studio and let's create this beautiful intuitive collage with my three top tips for creating gorgeous collage on canvas. I like this piece. That's pretty nice. Maybe I'll start with that piece and see what else I can find. Um, I'd really like to use these ones this time. Wouldn't that be awesome? I sprayed these black. They look fabulous. I just love them. So I think I might use these ones or else some of the white ones. I'm definitely going to put some of these fabulous collage elements on it. So let's have another rummage in my um, scrap bag and have a little look. Oh, yes. We're going with some some bubble wrap because we're using the black one. I've just decided we're using the black one. Definitely going to do that. So as I rummage through my box, how about some off cuts of some jelly prints? Oh, what about some of the fabulous big bubble wrapping gold? Maybe that's a maybe. Oh, I'm loving these tones. What about some in the bronze? Oh, that's pretty cool too. Oh man, <laughs> it just goes on and on. That is some of my Nat Geo. Now that's a print, a laser print on just ordinary copy paper from a Nat Geo paper that was dissolved. I love it, it works really well. We might have to put some of that in. And there's probably a whole heap of other fabulous papers that will work as well. We just got to start, right? Number one, just start. Okay, just start. <laughs> and I can change it if I don't like it. I'm definitely using those two. I'm figuring. I like this too. Now, don't get stressed out if some of your papers get a little bubbly. Sometimes, depending on what you've printed them on, they might. But, you know, you're going to be creating layers, so don't let it stress you out. It'll be okay. And it's collage. It's got to have some texture to it. It'd be boring otherwise. I think I'll put some of this on because it's just so flaming beautiful. Maybe I could sneak a bit of that scribbly text in there. Oh, so fun. I just love pulling out of these boxes and bags. There's just so much to enjoy. These colors are working really well together. Just loving it. I had an idea and then I pulled everything off and as I'm sticking it back on, it all changes. <laughs> that always happens for me. I'm definitely more a intuitive and spontaneous kind of um, collage applicator because when I pull everything off, if I line it all up and plan it and then pull everything off to put the Matte medium down. I always forget how I had it. I know I could take a photo and I could put it back exactly, but that's not really what I enjoy. I enjoy the spontaneity of the creativity. I enjoy making it in the moment, really. That's what it's about for me. So, you know, you just got to work out how you like to create. If you would rather plan it all out, and have it exactly how you want it. Take a photo when you move everything off to put your glue down because putting it back is almost impossible. <laughs> but for me, I really do enjoy the spontaneity of creating in the moment, deciding on if I'm going to use this piece or that piece, and is it gonna go here or there? I actually thrive on the energy of that creativity. So you've just got to work out how you like to create so you can enjoy the process because really you have to enjoy it. Otherwise, what's the point, right? Righto, that is all looking beautiful. 
I was going to put some of this on. I might still do that. Oh yeah, that look, that could look good. Maybe I'll put it in the corner like that. I don't mind that idea. And I'm definitely still putting my fabulous collage elements. Oh man, I was going to put some of this somewhere. And I got a few other bits and pieces that I was going to put on. So I ripped off a little slither of that paper there with the fabulous bubble wrap on black tissue because I wanted to add a little bit of that same pattern on this side of the canvas because number two, <laughs> repeat patterns or shapes. It just really does strengthen the composition to see something in a few different places. It just pulls it together much better. Yay, I think it's all looking pretty good. I added some more paper on the edge here and wrapped it over the front. The sides look fabulous. They're very interesting, lots of different textures. And I'm loving it. I think it's coming together really well. Just a tiny little slither down this side so that it balances the composition from over there. And I think that looks really cool. Right, so what else are we doing? I know I want to add my fabulous scribbly circles on here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. Do I want them fully on the canvas? Do I want them going off the side? Because, the you know, you can really put them in a few different places that would work really well. So now I just have to decide if there's anything else with these piles of beautiful papers that I might want to add. Don't mind that piece. Or what about even a couple of these shapes? Oh, I don't mind that idea either. All right, well, I might have a little fiddle with those. And then we'll see how it looks when it dries. And number three, it's all about the layers. <laughs> Why can't I have it all on? Of course I can. <laughs> layers upon layers of beautiful textures and colours. It's what really makes collage absolutely beautiful and fun to create. So when you look at something like this on the wall or on a dresser or a bookshelf, you can look at it for quite some time before you actually see all of the glorious layers and the colours and the textures and it just makes it so enjoyable. I absolutely love this kind of collage. So I'll show you when it dries and you will love it too. I'll put a link in the description to the first video in case you missed it because why make one beautiful collage when you can make two, right? They turned out so well, I just love them. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our little quick version of bonus video. And don't forget, I have a fabulous online gallery where you can find more of my beautiful original paintings for sale. Come back and join me next week. I hope to see you in the studio. I'm not sure what we will be creating, but I know it's going to be fun. And of course, it'll be beautiful. Yeah.